And we are back. We are back. Yo, what's really good, University of Miami Hurricane football fans? Your boy Alonzo, one, two, one, nine, aka Dial, y'all. Back in the building, three minutes late. I was early, and then my camera disconnected. I was early. I was actually on time this time. And for some reason, it, my, 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 my webcam disappeared on me. I, I didn't know what happened. So I was like, what the freak is going on? Why is my webcam disappearing on me? So, um, yo, what's good? What's going on? All right, what's good with you? <laughs> oh, y'all crazy. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, I'm 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 gonna say this right here, man. I did a, I did a video last night, and I got I got a, um I got a little bit. Of, I didn't get a lot of hate from it. I did get a little bit of hate. As the people calling me hater and this and that, but that was a video I had been wanting to do for a long time. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Because it was the way I was feeling for a long time. So um, now that I've gotten that off my chest, I won't revisit that. I'm, I'm done with it. I said what I had to say. I feel how I feel. No one can change how I feel, um, how I felt about a situation. I got people calling me hater or this or that. Nah, I'm not a hater. I just felt the way I felt. And actually, I wanted to do the video last year, but I, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have held it in so long. Maybe if I didn't hold it in so long, it wouldn't have came off so uh so aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, um few people threatened to quit watching me. I'm fine with that. If you don't want to watch my videos, I'm fine with that. There's other content out there for you. Um, and enjoy yourself, man. I hey. I've been a little negative this year because it's been a negative year. It's been a negative year. It hasn't been a lot of positives out of out of what's going on this this football season. So if people um are proud of what's going on this football season, then it is what it is. And I am nowhere near a hater of anybody. I just I just I see things differently than probably every than probably some people see things. So that was my that was my point on that video. It will not be discussed again. I'm done with it. I'm done with the issue. So let's get to talking college football. And I'm still going to be me, 100% out of two personified. Yes, sir. I'm always, hey. I'm hating on that name change. I'm, I know that. That's what I'm hating on, Slim Shady, Slim Shady Canes. I'm hating on that name change. You ain't changed that name yet. That's what I'm hating on. Slim Shady. Hey, y'all tell Slim. Y'all ask Slim Shady. Y'all ask Slim Shady Canes. Me and him had a heated conversation a couple nights ago. It was a private conversation, but it was heated. That's my brother. I love him to death. We just we we agreed to disagree on certain topics. That's life. If I agree with you on everything or you agree with me on everything, we're not friends or family. I don't know how to do it neither. I'm slow. I'm com I'm computer illiterate. <laughs> so let's get to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Mark Rick versus Nikoski Perry. And I put verses there. Because I really believe that Rick has something against Nikoski, in, in my in my personal opinion, I don't know what it is. All right, the kid, the kid didn't he didn't do the, he didn't do the most politically correct thing by um flashing money on YouTube. I mean on on, on on Instagram, that wasn't the most politically correct thing. You know what I'm saying? But bro, he he was flashing money in 2018, almost 19. That's what these kids do. If I leave five thousand dollars laying around right now in the house, and or I leave it, if I if I leave it on the on the counter or something or whatever, and my kids see it, they're gonna pick it up, they're gonna flash it and take IG pictures. That's what they do. That's what today's kids do. So the NCAA didn't see a problem with it. Um, I don't understand how pe how people can criticize a kid, criticize a kid. For 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 making a, a childish mistake, but adults can make the biggest mistakes in the world. Like hiring Coach Rick seems to be a mistake 
But no one wants to criticize that. You understand what I'm saying? He's a kid. He's a kid. Um, I don't know about the incident. I heard about it, so I'm not I'm not 100% sure what happened with Malik Rozier and somebody supposed to have made a comment about him. He thought they were talking about his sister on Twitter, and he threatened to beat the person up. Um, he told the person to come to the college. I'm not sure. So this is not factual. This is something that I heard. So this is nowhere near factual. I don't. I, I didn't see it on Twitter. I have no idea about it. Um, but if that happened and Coach Rick didn't punish Malik, I'm not understanding that. If that happened, I'm not sure if that happened. Um, Johnny Manziel with the money sign. The money sign. Remember the money sign? I mean, these are kids. Let kids be kids. I'm not understanding why we cannot allow kids to be kids. I'm more concerned about about your coaching ability, Coach Rick. And for people who probably are still doubting um, the source that, that 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 told me about they're looking for offensive coordinator, did you look at? Did anybody look at the? Um, did anybody look at the? Uh, The, the 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 interview with Mark Rick the other day. Did anybody look at the interview with Mark Rick the other day? Did he look kind of defeated? Did he did he or did he not look kind of defeated? I think he looked kind of defeated to me. In my opinion, Coach Rick looked like he was kind of defeated. He looked like he didn't know what was going on. Um, he looked like he looked defeated. And and and, and to be honest with you. To, to me, it seems like he was already giving excuses for why we're going to lose Friday night. I don't know what's wrong with the, I don't know what's wrong with the new generation. We're supposed to sing. Um, we're supposed to hold hands and sing. Um, sing, 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 sing. Um, I don't know what type of song is, but we're just supposed to hold hands and sing songs and Everybody get along. Everybody don't like everybody. I don't like everybody. Everybody don't like me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to like you. Why do I don't have to like you? I, I, I love the people who, who, who love me. Um, but Coach Rick, I'm not understand, I'm not understanding. He consistently blames, or he's already putting the blame out. If you look at the last video he put out, the blame is already, it's, the foundation is already being being laid for why we're going to lose the game. You know what I'm saying? He said uh, how great their offense is, um, running the ball, their tight ends, you know, they're, Got I got leading the team in receptions and then all their wide like three or four of their wide receivers got like 15 catches a piece and you know how stout their defensive line is and getting pressure and you know this and that and yada yada. He's already laying the foundation, getting it ready for the loss. He consistently blames the players. And, and 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 that's 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 what that's what frustrates me more than anything when it comes to this. Yeah, I, I hey, we, we we're all hurricane family here. You know what I'm saying? And and, and for the people who who, who 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 like me but disagree with me, I'm, I'm bro, you I'm all for you disagreeing with me. I have no problem with that. But if you're going to disagree with me about Mark Rick, then give me give me some substance on why you're disagreeing with with, with me about Rick, because. What is the difference between year one and year three right now? There's absolutely really no difference. We haven't beaten one good team on our schedule this year. All right, Premier, if you disagree with me about Rick, call into the show. You know the number, my brother. You know the number. So go ahead and call in. I'll put the number back in the chat. I'll put the number back in the chat just in case – Um. Just in case you decide to call in. Just in case you decide to call in. I'm going to put the number back in the chat. Just in case you decide to call in, man, because 
Oh, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't mind people disagreeing with me. Oh, like I said, I don't just have some substance to why you're disagreeing with me. Let me know why you're disagreeing with me. You know what I'm saying? That's all. So call in to let me know why you're disagreeing with me. What am I wrong about? You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you guys know this for real, I'm just, I'm just getting off work. I'm telling you, man, I've been at work since 4 o'clock this morning. For real. And when I did that video, it was right before I got home. I'm passionate about this. I, I really, I really, I really believe in the University of Miami. I really believe in, in in the fan base of the University of Miami, man. I really believe we have a strong voice as long as long as we as long as we use our voice. And I'm gonna learn how to use this this pinnacle system eventually, hopefully before the week is out, so I can do everything else I said I was gonna do. Because everything is installed, I just hadn't had time to play with it. And hopefully we'll be induced a lot better. What's going on, my brother? Who we got? Hold on, hold, hold, I'm sorry. Hold on, my bad. I thought I had put you on speaker, but I didn't. Sorry. Go ahead, my brother. All right, what's going on, man? Hey, I've been subscribed to you about a month now, man. I've just been listening to you, man. My first time calling you. But uh, under the chat name, my name is Richie Fletcher, man. But check this out, though, man. I was just wanted to uh, talk about Mark Rick. I'm, I'm on your page, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just turning your pages as we speak. Man, Mark Rick ain't the answer, man. First of all, I'm a member of 24-7. So I put a topic out there saying that there's Mark Rick, Miami, it's a Miami City. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no Miami City. And the reason he's why not, I say that just because... He's not a Miami guy. Just, I agree with yeah, you. Just because he went, just because he went to Miami... He played in Miami. Don't mean you a Miami guy. You see what I'm saying? A you, Miami guy, he come in there with swag. He come in, he, he, he in your grill. He got that Manny Diaz swag on the sideline. He ain't just... Where did Manny Diaz go at? Crazy. Where did Manny Diaz uh, go to college at? Yeah, he's uh, Florida State. Exactly. So, so, anyway, but, so how does a Florida State guy have more swag than a Miami guy? Even though Manny was raised, born and raised in Miami, but it's in him. Right. And, and not only that, man, like you were saying in the other chat on Sunday, man, I would take our dog in a heartbeat over Mark Rick. I tell you what, you know what I, you know what I tell people when when they get mad at me when I mention Al Golden, I tell people if you give, if you give with the offense with with the offense that we have right now, if you take Martin D'Onofrio as a defensive coordinator, how bad would we be? If you was to, if you if if if, if Mark Rick had had Mark D'Onofrio as his defensive coordinator right now, how bad would we be? I'm gonna put it like this: we won't be bad at all. And the reason why, because first of all, James Cole. No, 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 you, no, I'm, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if Mark Rick had oh, Mark D'Onofrio, oh, we'll be awful, man. We'll, oh, we'll be awful. We won't even win the game. But if Al we'll Golden. If Al Golden and James Coley had 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 um Manny Diaz, Manny Diaz, oh God, we oh we oh we cooking, cub. Under sanctions, yeah, under sanctions. I, and, and I'm gonna tell you this too, though. What Mark Rick did, there, man, when he pulled when he pulled Perry in that Virginia game, man, a lot of people were watching that. A lot of recruits were watching that. Game on TV. They they feel just like how we feel as fans. Is how you gonna say this is your starter? Did not change that from twenty down in the FSU game, and then he makes two bad passes when you actually you know, one one of the ball was starter. tipped. One of them was tipped, and it wasn't his fault. And not only that, he even came back and said, "I think the receiver ran the wrong route." Did he not say that? Yep. But guess what? I heard today that we've lo we've already lost five recruits from the 2020 class. Oh yeah, we lost Elijah Roberts yesterday. Now we lost we lost a, we lost a, 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 a five star um, lineman last week. We lost a, a four or five star lineman last week. 
a four or five star, a four or five star, um, a four or five star wide receiver last week. And um, so we're losing players. And, and for the guy that said um, F. Golden Nathan, I understand what you're saying. I'm not saying Golden was a great coach, but what I'm saying is, do you think, do you think that right now, if Mark Rick had Mark D'Onofrio as his defensive coordinator, then he would have a better record than Al Golden? No. And but that's that's that, that's the question to the guy that said F. Al Golden. Al Golden at least had excuses. He was under he was under sanctions. And now that he was handcuffed by Donald Shalala. Handcuffed by Donald Shalala. I'll go. I mean, Mark Rick has no excuse to why he's losing. The only thing Mark Rick has has going for him right now is for Larry just that he didn't donate a million dollars to the indoor. Practice. But you you, did, you didn't catch my last video when I said he donated that money, but that money went right back to his son. His son got a contract no, for like no. his son. I think his son making like two hundred some thousand dollars a year. For like five years, so what does that add up to? A million dollars, right? Right. So he got his son a job. He got his son a job at Miami, right? He got his son right. a job at Miami and donated a million dollars. So he basically paid his son's salary for him. <laughs> I'm just because his son shouldn't be a quarterback coach. Man, I'll put it like this: when they find out gold and Mark Rick. I did not want Mark Rick as a coach. I didn't want him neither. I did not want him because, first of all, if you win in nine and ten games a year at Georgia and they're not satisfied, what makes you think somebody else going to be satisfied with nine and ten wins? I gave, I gave, I gave the last four recruiting classes under Al Golden, right? And only one was, only one was out in the top twenty-five. You had one at eight, one at twelve, I think one at fourteen. But one at eight, one at twelve, one at eight, one at twelve, one at fourteen. Twenty, and then one at twenty-seven. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So when people say when people say talent wise, when people say talent wise, when they say they want to get his talent in, I, I, I'm, I be like, what are you talking about? He has talent. And then when people blame the offensive line, this is third recruiting class. Why isn't the offensive line getting better? Why isn't the offense getting better? Uh, all the kids at the University of Miami have all of them became dumb. Hey, my brother, I'm about to call you. I'm about to let you. I'm gonna let, let you go because I got another caller calling in. I done missed two, so yeah. I appreciate the call, my brother. Thanks for the subscribe, my brother. I really appreciate that. All uh, right, no problem, bro. Take it easy. You too, my brother. I appreciate. I appreciate. The, I appreciate the support from the family. Um, I just had somebody call and they hung up. I'm gonna call you back, man. Matter of fact, let me call the um. The Utah caller first, man, because he he for, from now on if I, if I miss a call, Thank I'm, you for calling. Select I'm I'm um oh, Utah I'm I'm um I'm gonna call I'm gonna call the people that I missed because um I'm gonna try to it, it anyway. I'm calling the Missouri guy. He's not answering. So when they look at their phone, they can at least know that I called them back. Uh, he, he, I went to his voicemail, so um, I called him back. Now I'm calling Florida. The guy who just called last. Let's see if he answering. Hello. What's going on, my brother? Who we got? We got D. Howard, Jacksonville. What's going on, Duval County? What's up, man? First of all, do I owe you forty five dollars for this call? Uh, uh just joking. No, um, just joking. no, you don't. Just you don't. You don't owe. You don't owe me no, anything. Um, just joking for the, the conversation from yesterday. Just hey, I, I, I said, I said this. Um, I'm a a um a um Slim Shady Kane. I'm hit you right back, Slim Shady. I'm hit you right back. I'm hit you right back, Slim Shady. Nah. That was something that I had been holding on my chest for like two years now. I'm I'm very I'm very passionate, like, and I really feel like, you know, the money. I said I wasn't going to do video till I can afford to buy season tickets. 
I don't want to make money off the program without, you know what I'm saying, being a sick a season ticket holder or a booster and donating back to the program. And I bit my tongue on it actually for way too long. And it came out, and um, I guess a lot of people lost respect for me on that. I, I feel ain't lose respect because all of us feel the same way. Yeah, you feel- saying that's the reason I even watch your show for the passion, the real talk for Miami. And, and one of the reasons I called because I watched my Rick interview and I swear I wish you was there to ask him the questions that needed to be asked. Everybody there that just asks the soft questions, don't ask them the real questions. You know, there's only them. one person and only one person asks him questions, though. First off, I give a big thumbs down to Kane's All Access because Kane's All Access should be called Kane's All Ass Kiss. Serious. That would, they should change their name from Kane's All Access to Kane's All Ass Kiss. Um, they only allow that lady to ask questions. If you notice, she asked like six questions in a row. Mark, the coaches are allowed to um, not answer questions from certain reporters. Now, what's the name is very hard on coaches, uh, on reporters. Nick Saban is very hard on coach on, on reporters, but at least he asked the he'll he'll answer the question in a snarly way. But to me, he earned that right. I wanted somebody to ask the questions about the coordinator, about a lot of things that people just won't. I just don't see them asking. That's why there is no point. When I first started, I first started watching that little interview. I was like, this interview is bull crap. It ain't even worth watching because it's not a real interview. They're not asking real questions. They're asking him stuff like, oh, um, who, gonna, who the captain's going to be. That's irrelevant. We don't need no captains. Yeah, we don't we need no, bro. I mean, it's like, and then they ask. They ask the special team captain, and our special team's been horrible this year. You gonna be the special teams captain? This is ridiculous. But and people, I, and I, and but people and are anybody satisfied. Who say, "Oh, we shouldn't talk bad about our coach"? They're an idiot. Because first of all, <laughs> I'm another season ticket holder. So if I'm gonna spend my season ticket holder, and I'm gonna love this team the way I love it, and I grew up in Miami. We love Miami football more than Miami, Universal Miami football more than any sports in the state of Florida. So you sit up there and talk about we shouldn't say nothing about our coach. Oh, we should. It was okay for us to say something about Al Golden, but it's not okay for us to say something about him. Please, you can go back to Georgia with that. Hey, and what bugs me out, I keep telling people, I keep telling people, man, if, if you gave Al Golden, if you gave Al Golden um, Manny Diaz, and you gave Mark Rick, Mark D'Onofrio, who would have who would have the better who would have the better um who would have the better number who would have the who would have the most wins? Everybody already know he ruined uh, man. This man ruined Brad Kaya's career. He didn't just Period. ruin. But we're going backwards. We're not going forward. And right now, Nikoski Perry is being punished because he doesn't like him. I honestly think that's the truth too. But you can't say he ain't a better quarterback. But you know what bugs me out about it, though? M- uh, um, Nikoski decommitted because he committed under Al Golden. He decommitted. Mark Rick kissed his ass, begged him to come to Miami, and now you treat him this way. So now that we have lost a total of like seven or eight recruits over the past week. And I think he don't – I don't – his stubbornness tell me that he don't give a damn. He doesn't care. He's all is just saying, because you can't sit up there and say, I love this program and I'm going to do what's best for this program and be that damn stubborn. It's, it's no way you can say you love this program and you don't do what's best in the best interest of the program. He's on because very- Malik is a, a yes guy and you do whatever the coaches say, don't mean he's the best quarterback. And I heard something about, oh, it's because Perry audible in the game and he ain't want Perry to audible. First of all, any good quarterback should be at an audible into a good play. Not, not any quarterback. Do you know they say Bobo left Georgia? I got a Georgia fan on the line right now. Answer, answer this question for me. Is the reason I've heard the reason why Bobo left Georgia was because was because um Bobo was supposed to be the play caller. And Rick was going over changing plays, telling the quarterback to call different plays, and this and that, and that's why he left and went to Colorado or something. This is what I heard. You hear stuff like this when you're in chats, but that's what I heard. So if that's what I heard, that's how a person he is. 
So when we get a new offensive coordinator, it needs to be explained to him that he has no he has no authority over the offense. None. You can't I say mean, nothing. I'm staying here in Jacksonville, man. You know how many Georgia fans I see on a regular basis and tell me, look, I'm sorry. Y'all should have never hired Bro, him. You should have asked me. I live in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, man. And it was like, and I, like, and I nice watched him every week. Guy, but I don't know if he that. Is he? Bro, don't stop. People need to stop using Christianity to I'm all right, I'm I'm a Christian, right? But I'm a loud mouth and I speak my mind. Right. Does that mean I'm not nice? I'm very charitable. I ask people in the community. I give out a lot. I give a lot of my time to the boys and girls club. I will spend a whole ask ask my my daughter's ROTC team. If I don't go to the to the mats, they're mad. They're upset. You know why? Because I talk to the kids. I have fun with the kids. I buy the kids. I I I pay for the whole ROTC um lunch. So so the funny but I'm a loud mouth and I talk shit. So does that mean I'm not a nice guy? Because because I mean people you you can put on a persona in front of the camera and then change your persona once you're behind the camera. Me, you're going to get the same thing every single day. Every single day, you're going to get me. I am who I am. What, I, I still say this here. I am whatever you say I am. If it wasn't, then why would I say I am? I am who I am. Hey, Zo, my brother them drove to the Virginia game. They had tickets right there behind Virginia football team bench. Virginia, my brother said he was looking at Mark Rickham. They weren't making no adjustment. Virginia coaches had the little video camera little thing on the on the iPad, yeah. steady making adjustments to what we was doing. He said he watched Virginia coach turn to his quarterback and say, "Look, we can't throw the ball deep, but we can act like we gonna run and throw it to the side." Do this. They was making adjustments that our team do not make in games. We don't have adjustments, man. We have four plays. What are you gonna adjust from one to four? And then it was. Hey, it was my like, bad. I don't mean to cut you, but I don't miss like three calls. Uh, and right, and man, I'm not, man, I'm, not I'm not gonna be call. on real late tonight. So I miss like three calls. So let me get a couple more. What's your name again, my brother? I'm D Howard. D Howard, come um, text me and lock me in, man. You can call me anytime for free. All right, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, who we got? And I gotta call that 904 number back, and I have to call. Slim Shady came back. So we got to make this kind of quick. What's up, Zoe? You got love? Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on, my brother? What's good with you? Are you mad at me? No, no bro. I ain't mad at you, no. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I need to ask a question to everybody in the chat. Is anybody mad at me today? Oh, uh, you know how it is. No, I, got, I ain't mad, bro. I got a lot of people threatening to quit. I've been thinking lately, though. <laughs> you know, you got a little bit of drama and a hot seat going on. I feel like the play calling is going to be a little bit different. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's different. Oh, I know it don't matter. I'm just saying. I feel like something's going to be different. Listen here, just man. Just because of what's been going on. I, 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 I think if Mark Rick was averaging 100 points a game, that's the only way he'll keep his job is calling plays. I think I think that's a done deal. They're not going to change play call. What's going on, Glenn? Thank you. I love you too, Glenn. Um, um, I, I, I think he has to re- – I think, I think the damage is done. Exactly. I think the damage is... He can beat Boston College by 40 and have us fully prepped, but it does, it just doesn't change stuff. It, should, it shouldn't have got to this point is what I'm trying to say. It yeah. shouldn't have got to this point. All right, for, hey, I got a lot of people calling. There. Everybody who called, did you hit the like button, my brother? I already hit the like button and send a dono. You already know. Oh, man, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, man. And, and I tell people, I got my twenty five dollar phone call. I had to send something. Thank you. I tell people, man. The, the, people think <laughs> I'm playing, man. These donations really, 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 really help me. Um, and I, I didn't. I was told to ask for them. Let me take this nine oh four call because he he called like five times, and I'm gonna try to and try to call back again before I hang up. I right? I got you. Appreciate it. Hey, Slim Shady. I'm, hey, Slim Shady came. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you because I already know for a fact when you get on, when you get on, you're not getting off. You're gonna stay on for 45 minutes. So I, you almost like a guest damn host now. So I got, I got, I got to take a few more calls before I get you on because you ain't gonna let me hang up on you. And who we got? 
What up, Zoe? This came for life, Zoe. What's up, brother? What's good with you? Man, I can't call it, fam. Man. Are you I mad at me? Man, you do, man. I, 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 man, as a true Kane fan, man, I've been watching you for two years, bro. I done finally got on live. You know what I'm saying? Everything you've been saying has been correct. Have you been trying to get on live? I've been trying to get on do live. Me a fa- like button and all. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get on live and I can't get you on live, you can text me, right? And I will make sure that I call you first the next time. Anybody who's trying to get on live and can't get through, text me and I will do whatever I can to get you back on it on the next. I will be calling you guys first. I'll write a list down and I'll call you guys on the next chat. Because it's hard to get everybody, especially when I get Slim Shady Kane on. Because Slim Shady Kane will be on for 45 minutes. Look at him with the glasses. You see him? He'll be on 45 minutes. He won't let me hang up on him. But listen, though, listen. Where's the play caller from Notre Dame last year? Where's the play caller from Virginia Tech last year? Why are you not coming out calling those plays? You got everything. You, you're not. He's not even starting DJ Dallas. Travis Homer didn't regress, but the kind of the how, how DJ Dallas run, you should start him. You're not even rotating Lorenzo Lingard. You're not getting no motion. Imagine if we said how Lorenzo they say Lingard, Lingard. They say Lingard out for the season. What I've heard. Yeah, he, he just went out for the season and practice once again. It's another player. And you know, a bu- you, 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 you know, you know, you know, not even telling us what's going on with our players. You know, what bugs me out about that is he gets every running back in the history of him coaching hurt. Here you go once again, Todd Gurley. Oh. Here we go once again. Every running back at Georgia done got killed. Yeah, thanks to Mark Rick. Yep. He done came over here and done killed our running backs. Yep, that's what he and does. He ran this man in the Duke game, knowing he was hurt. You still running him? You gonna run every running back we have into the ground? Hey, for you the first time, you hey, shouldn't even have Jeff Thomas on kick return. Hey, hey Joshua Simmons. Hey, Joshua Simmons. I'm not even going to disagree with you, but the coaching that we have right now, we can't be the SEC team. Hey, we can't be the bottom tier ACC team. Because he's loyal to his son. He don't want to go hire a real quarterback coach who can call plays, who can tell you what time it is. He got puppets, just like you say. He got good pu- boys. Exactly. And I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not that guy. It was told to me in a text message today that you family love. We should all love each other. Let me explain something to you, man. Every Kane fan is not the same Kane fan, okay? You have you have fans who are Kane's fans just to be a part of a group, and then you have Kane fans who bleed this shit like 786 Kane's, like Logan. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so every Kings fan is not the same. All right. So if it's not that you disagree with me that I say you're not the same type of Kane fans you are, it's what topic that you disagree with me on. Because if you feel like Mark Rick doesn't have the talent to win, if you feel like Mark Rick needs another year to call plays. Then you're not the same can same Kane fan as me. I didn't say, exactly. I didn't say that. Exactly. I didn't say that, Glenn. But it's the hundred percent truth. I tell I, it's the truth. I it's am a, I'm line. a fan who's gonna go two games. You're gonna be in the trenches out out there. I don't care how far away I live. Exactly. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Ticket stars, pictures to prove it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We have different and the fans that are at the games and are that out there, bro. Do me a favor. Next time I'm I'm going to I'm, I might go to the Duke game and might not even get a ticket, but I might go because I gave my tickets away. I might go and just sit in the park a lot and sit at 786 uh tailgate and just sit out there and chill with my family. But so people, people, I see people even on the live chats, they keep Oh, it's the O line. Oh, the O line trash. Okay, yeah, they getting beat here and now, but it, look at the play calling that they giving. Look at the situation I keep te- that they getting put I in. I keep telling people that, but if the O line is trash, it's Mark Rick's fault that it's trash because this is his third year. We don't even have a worse. We don't even have a worse line in the ACC. We have actually we and have one of the top recruit. Technical. We have one of the top recruited lines in the ACC. They all four and five scores. So and we got more on the bench. Exactly. So man, we loaded. He don't know what to do right now. We got a, we still turning our man. We got an eighty-four pinto, and everybody else 
got pushed our charge. They got we got hellcats and demons ready to be unleashed, but this man want to keep them in the garage. All right, my because brother. On the weekend, on the weekend, you still pulling out your eighty four Pinto instead of your Ferrari. What you got going on, Marit? That's what you do. Just goes on that. He took Nick Marshall to the show. Yep. Hey, let me take another call. I got a whole bunch of calls coming in. Hey, two, I got you, though, man. I hey, appreciate that, man. I'm going to shoot you the number, though. Man, we're going to leak up, man. Yeah, just text me. Text me, text me everything. Hey, Pennsylvania, I'm going to have to call you back because I'm, I'm I'm trying to do something a little different now. I'm trying to do something a little different. I need to go back into the calls that was called. Actually, um, Alabama had, it's a, I don't know if I got that 30. Let me see. Did, did I get that 305 number yeah, I got him in today. I'm sorry. Let me get this on. I don't. I didn't get the Alabama call in. So let let me let me call. I'm, I'm gonna try to call people back first. I'm gonna try to call people back first that I missed. I'm gonna try to start doing that because it's unfair to those guys who call in and miss because I'm running my mouth. Hello. What's going on, man? This is Alonzo, man. What's good with you, my brother? What's going on, though? Nothing much. Listening to you for a while, man. I like the kind of stuff you put out. You're not mad at me. I, I some people told me they were mad at me and discuss it with me because of what I did yesterday, and they're gonna unsubscribe me. I was crying. You you see how red my eyes. You see how red my eyes are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can't right now because I'm actually calling you on the phone. That I was watching the video on. But uh, yeah, we gotta get you two phones. Let's get me crazy. So we gotta get you uh, two phones, man. We gotta get you two phones or a tablet. We gotta, we gotta get you something. I hear. Uh, with uh, what your last caller said about, you know, where the plays from last year with the Virginia Tech and Notre Dame, I've been saying that the whole season. Like, where are these plays at? You know where those and plays are at? I meant to answer that for you. You know where those plays are at? In Manny Diaz's playbook. What? Because Virginia Tech, and <laughs> those, those, those plays were because of the defense. They set right. them They set them up perfectly. You, It was a perfect storm. It's like you play basketball. You ever play basketball? No, no, sir. You've no, never, you've never played basketball. What, 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 what? what I, mean, I, I mean, I've played basketball. Yeah, I play basketball. Okay. Have you ever had? You, have you ever had one of them games where you're not, you're probably not a shooter? I don't know if you're a shooter or not, but one of them games we just couldn't miss. Now oh, you, yeah. you out there shooting just can't miss. That's what Rick had. He just had. He just couldn't miss. But as soon as yeah, he misses, with the hand. yeah. But as soon as he misses one time, it's over with. Right. But mm-hmm. see, and another question that I like, I've been debating all season. It's just like you know, last year's recruiting class, we recruited to have an offense like like Stanford running or like Wisconsin running. Why are we only bringing out the I formation in short yardage attempts? I don't like their I mean, offense. But see, Stanford, man. Stanford offense, right? I can't stand Wisconsin offense. I don't like those offenses. The only reason I like Stanford offense is them just got a six five and a six seven tight end. Both of them stretch the seam of the field, man. That it's hard to guard them two. Have you seen them boys? Have you seen them two tight ends yeah. from Stanford? Oh my God. Man, could you imagine? That? But you know what I said? I said, why not line up Brevin Jordan on one side and um Lawrence Cager at tight end and stretch the seam like that? You know what I'm saying? And make and make their linebacker. Can you imagine a linebacker trying to guard Cager instead of a corner? Uh, instead of a corner, right? I mean, come on. Right. But uh, you really think about it. When you get in the red zone, you could also leave Cager on the outside and then put Will Mallory on the other side. Yep. I mean, you got two giants right there to throw the ball to for uh, grabs. I mean. That's not even a 50-50 ball right there. With those two guys on the outside, that's more like an 80-20. When, 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 they, when um, Cager dropped that ball against Florida State, Cager said, give me the damn ball back. My fault. Give me the yeah. ball back. And what did he do? He yeah, said, he won't stop me again. You read his lips. And he, and that's, he, because, that's because that corner didn't beat him. He beat himself. He beat himself. He knew, it. he knew he beat himself. So he's like, you know what? I messed up. Give me that again. And they ran and the exact same saying. play. The exact same play. Hey, let me get this next call in, bro. I swear I'm trying to get as many calls as I can. All right, man. You have a good night. You too, my brother. Thank you. Yo, who we got? Man, I can't go away from Miami, man. How you doing, Lando? I'm good, my brother. How you doing, man? Good, good, 
great, great, great. Let me put two things out there, man. You know who else we got to blame, too? We got to blame the administrators, man. Before they gave Rick that extension, there was been folks to be on his chest about it. And another thing, he was been exposed because we ain't saying nothing. Remember that 2016 squad? Yeah. When you came with that 2016 squad, I said, oh, no. Rick got to give it up, but nobody said nothing because we made huge improvements on defense. And Manny Tienz had it so blind that he was so great that we can please let the fans know. Look at that 2016 offensive score. That was the best offensive score we had in the last 15 years. And you lost four games. I'm sorry. I don't care if he has a 200 points a game. No, give it up. I don't care if we got to get the offensive coordinator from West Virginia or, or that's what I'm here. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Um, I'm along with you. I've been on this bandwagon before he got hired. Please don't hire him. And if you do hire him, please uh, off call uh, get uh, office court in. Bro, man, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. That was quick, sweet, and to the point. He's pissed off. Um, let me see something. I'm trying to go back to some of the calls. Yes, I can. I just got a text and I ain't going to say who I got a text from, but you know who you are. You my brother. I love you to death. Mark Rick is trash. Yes, he is. I can say it every single show, every single show. If you want to call me and debate me, you can call me and debate me. But I'm going to say it every show. He's trash. Period. Period, point blank. I'm going to text you back that. I'm going to text that back to you, my brother. You keep making excuses for him. That's what the problem is. Next thing you're gonna tell me is next thing you're gonna tell me, my brothers, that um 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 he can't see good or something, man. I'm a, let me see. I'm going down the list real quick, like to see what calls I just missed. Did I get that Pennsylvania call? No, I didn't get it. Let me get that call. I'm calling you now back, Pitt. I'm calling you back now, Hurricane Pennsylvania. Hello? What's what's going on, Hurricane Pitt? What's going on, Zo? Nah, I can't call it. What's good with you, my brother? Not much, man. I just need I'm sitting here, I'm I'm reading the chats. I think the fan base we need to dispel this. I, I hear the same thing over and over. What's People this? talking about Nicosi isn't the starter. Because he can't read the playbook or he don't understand the bro, playbook. Bro, Come on, man. bro, you know what, man? I don't I'm not reading that. I'm not even paying attention to that. Um, um, John Rick can't read the playbook. What play what, what playbook? What exactly. playbook, bro? Can't nobody read the playbook? And more more importantly than that, you know what? If a head coach was to tell me that, I might believe you if you were if if you said what you mean, and you stood by that throughout the process. You know what bought me out about it, though? If, if Rick, Nobody's if heard Mark Rick that. say that. Nobody's yeah. ever heard Mark Rick say that Nikoski can't read the playbook. Yeah. You know what people just, do? You know what people, this is what people do. Someone says something, and everybody runs with it. Exactly. Someone says something, and everybody runs with it, man. All right. Yeah, but but you, you know what? Like you said, even if that is the case, whose problem is that? Whose fault is that? Is if he couldn't if he couldn't read the playbook, why, why recruit him so hard? I'm pretty sure they gave him something to read before he went back at recruiting him. Right. 
If he can't understand it, that seems to be a, a, a quarterback coach problem. It That's seems like no quarterback can understand the offensive line. Can I, it's everybody else's problem but Rick's. He go, he gonna learn real quick. I, you know, the last two issues we had with head coaches, it was stubborn head coaches that wouldn't make adjustments. He about to lose his job over this now. Well, I don't want him fired. I want a dunce head on him sitting on the sideline. I'm asking you the same question I'm asking everybody else. Would you take the combination of Mark Rick and Mark D'Onofrio or Al Golden and Manny Diaz? And Manny Diaz. You know yeah. why? Because at least yeah. Al Golden going to have an offensive coordinator. Exactly. Sometimes you got to know. Look, look, you got to know what you can do sometimes. You know what I mean? The man's just got to know his limitations. Look, I don't, <laughs> I don't fix nothing around my house because I ain't a plumber. All right, you know just, just think about with all the talent we have right now, right? With all the talent we have right now, right? And he still he still can't beat a good team. Imagine what he would have been doing under the sanctions that Al Golden was under. With Coley, we'd be crushing it. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Well, Imagine what Mark Rick would be doing with Mark DeNorvio right now under the sanctions <laughs> that we were under. No, no I don't want to imagine. We would be 0-12. <laughs> we would be 0 and 12, man. I, I want to imagine that. I, I want no parts of that. I'm serious. It's a mess, man. It's a mess. It's crazy. But just hearing these people say this, I'm like, look, I, I might believe that if I had a head coach who, when he said something or, the, or he made criteria for what his, what he said his quarterback would have to do to win the job was, and he stood by that, then I might believe you. But when I watch you let, a redshirt freshman bring us back against FSU, and then you you let that that man makes two errors in the next game, and you pull him. Well, then you say you're going to give him. You say you're going to give him real snaps, and then what? What was that? What game was that? We're playing nobodies. You have him go in there and down the football two times. Nah, man, I don't give you the the luxury of telling me what that man can or can't do. You don't like the, you don't like Perry because Perry is a, a young South Florida boy. Exactly. He be flashy. He got slugs exactly. in his mouth, and he likes to be outside. Exactly. And he likes to be inside reading the Bible. Come on with all that. He's he he is that you know you know I changed his his, his increments right. You know I changed his initials right. Now nah, what is it? What did everybody call him CMR right? Yeah. It's PMR. <laughs> Pastor Mark Rick. That's what it. Exactly. And I wish his exactly. last name was Smith. And then it'd be PMS. <laughs> exactly, man. Look, we trying to win games, man. Like, as long as that boy ain't out there doing anything too reckless, I'm not worried about it. Like, kids are going to be kids. You kidding me with all the stuff those kids up there at Tallahassee get away with? You worried about a kid flashing some money? Come on. He's He, he's, he is who he is, man. He oh, that's all I gotta is. say about that. Go ahead, sir. I know you got people waiting. Yeah, call, I do. Call, I, call I, your boys back. I appreciate it, man. That's tw- hey, that was twenty. That no, I'm leaving alone. I'm not gonna say. I'm stop. I was about to say something. <laughs> I was about to charge you for the phone. I'm stop. All right, man. I appreciate. It. I appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. People say I'm hating. I'm trying not to hate. I'm trying not to hate. No more. Someone just texted me. Is there any more news from my source on the OC? I don't know if that was being um, if that was being sarcastic or um, if, but no more news from my. If it was, I would have put it out there. If it was, I would have put it out there. I promise you. But I have had no more news on that. Um. Did I get you in today? Yeah, I did get you in today. So let me go ahead and get 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 the um get the man with the plan on. I need a drum roll for this phone call. Don't say a word. Don't say a word yet. Don't say a word. Ladies and gentlemen, nah, ladies, hold on, ladies, and I'm trying to introduce you. Okay. You're not gonna let me introduce you. Go ahead, 
Go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm trying to give you an introduction. I thought you would be honored by that. Goodness. Yeah, you, see, you, you see, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. You see, see how my brother do me. You see how my brother do me, man. He be doing me dirty, man. I'm telling you, he be doing me dirty, man. All right. We have on the phone, right? I'm almost done messed up my introduction. Brrr. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs from all around the world. We have the one, the only Slim Shady Kane on the phone right now. Tell me why you're mad, Slim. Tell me why you're mad. <laughs> Four ninety-five a minute for you. Dollar ninety-nine a minute for everybody in the chat. <laughs> What's going? What's up, man? What's going on, man? What's good with you? All right, I, I, I've been sitting back listening. You know, I didn't call in last show. I've been sitting back listening to a few things. All right. There's there, there's a few things I'm gonna get into tonight. <laughs> Number one, I don't know about you. I yeah. saw the video with Perry. That that it, it looked bad as far as something the NCAA can get into. How does it look bad? Because he got money. Bad. How does it look bad? Because he's showing money. That was a big ass wad of cash. So I, I understand what you're saying, but like I said, it's still gonna be a big ass wad of cash. Yeah, but it's gonna be like some Jordan 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 you have to have a reason. That's why they didn't come down on him. He's holding five. You couldn't. You don't know if it's five thousand count. You don't know if it's five thousand fake money or something. You don't know what it is. All you know is he's flashing he's cash. It's bad. I'm saying it can look bad. That's what I'm trying to figure out. How? You know how it? How can it? How can it look bad? He's not allowed to have money. Is he not allowed to have money? What? What if? No. It, it, that, that's what it did. It raised questions. He's he's a kid. Like I tell you, if I, 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 I did stupid shit when I was a kid too. My, I did it too. My daughter flashed my daughter flashed money. She ain't got all the time. Yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like I said, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying it's a kid. Like I'm serious. That's Instagram. That's it's, people do this on IG. This is the new day and age, man. You know what we as you're you're 30. You're younger than me, but you know what old people need to do. Old people need to stop thinking that old times are going to be here and, and, and adjust to young. We need to adjust to young people more than the young people need to adjust to us. You're absolutely right. You know, because that's what's going but, on. You know the NCAA likes to come down on Miami, period. As much as they like us, they want to get them to. I mean, but you have to have a reason to get. Flashing cash isn't a reason to get. Now, if he was, i tell you what. Do you not remember? When the top running back went to Alabama, I forgot what running back it was. He didn't even stay. He got he got recruited by Alabama, went to Alabama, and he was seen riding around in a brand new GMC burgundy and burgundy, whatever color they got, with the Alabama symbols on it, his car with brand new 22 inch rims on it. Huh? What about Al Blaze getting his daddy getting offered a job? And we're worried about the. You talking about that dude in Alabama last time they got on suspension? No, this was recent. This was a couple. No, this was a couple of years ago. This was a couple of years ago. An Alabama recruit riding around in a brand new GMC. I mean Chevrolet Tahoe with rims on it, same color paint in Alabama with the Alabama symbols on it. Just saying. Yeah. I seen guys in the University of South Carolina. I'm not going to mention his name, but he was a great, great player for the University of South Carolina. Ride around in a garnet and black brand new Ford. Um, that's when they had the excursions came out. Brand new Ford excursion. The only time the NCAA ain't going to question it is with Michael Irvin's son because they know his daddy's got money. I'm not from the state of Florida. I got a lot of family in Florida. I lived in Florida. I got property in Florida. I'm from New York. Somebody asked me a question. Somebody asked me a question. Um, my grandfather went to UM. So um nah, I mean, bro, it's cash. It it could have been from it could have been, you know, they did an investigation. You know what bugged me out about it? 
is they did the investigation, right? No one says where he has the money, we got the money from. But they did the investigation. You heard Mark Rick say they investigated it, and it was nothing. And the NCAA knows it's nothing. So that yeah, might have been his story and my Harold story. All right, but hear me, hear me. That might have been something that you don't know. It, it could have been something from a trust with one his grandparents died. It could have been. I mean, serious. It's like when my mother died when I was seventeen, right? As soon as I turned 21, I, me, my two sisters, and my brother, $130,000 as soon as I turned 21. That was what given to me when my mother died. That what was left in, that was what was left to me when my mother died. $130,000, right, at 21. We don't know where he got that money from. You're exactly right. They don't, but they're going, NCAA is going to look at it. NCAA going to look at it. the video... From the video, you can't tell if it's a bunch of ones or a bunch of hundreds. You can't tell. All I know is if we are more concerned about a young man flashing money, then we have a problem. My 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 kid, my daughter go to Spring Valley High School. Her friend that dropped her off yesterday is driving a BMW at 16. A BMW. Siri, a BMW. My daughter 16 got a Chevy. My daughter 16 got a Chevy Blazer with bead in it, rims, everything. 16. The weak side linebacker that played next to me, his dad bought him a brand new F three fifty King Ranch edition. That's my whole. That's my point. So it's like, what? What are we talking about? I don't. It's a, it's a non issue. I have a problem with. No, I'm not saying you. I'm just saying. I don't want to give the NCAA excuse to come in there. So so we have to have the. You know what I'm I'm, I'm about. I'm, I, I want to say something. I want to say something so bad, but I just can't. I just can't because I'm gonna get killed. To go. I'm gonna get killed. But freak it, I'm gonna say it. I know where you want I'm to gonna go. say it. I'm gonna say it. A young black man flashed money. A young black man flashes money at the University of Miami, and he either got it from a drug deal or he got it, drug dealer or he got it from somebody because he's he's probably from the inner city. And he doesn't have any money. But if it would have been a guy from, if it had been a young black guy from Stanford from a good family, or a young white guy from Stanford or Miami, it, I mean, with a big time family, it would have been no problem. It annoys me. I ain't gonna say it wouldn't be a problem because would, uh, Alabama got put on suspension in the early two thousands. That's uh, that's they the, got caught paying a player. That's the but they got caught paying a player. Got caught paying a player. We have a pay, player flashing money. That's different. That's that's totally different. That's like if I get caught with a gun and I got a concealed permit, they're not gonna do anything to me. But if I get caught carrying a gun with without a concealed work permit, I'm going to jail. Two totally different things. It's nothing legal. Is there's nothing illegal about flashing money at all? Nothing. That's right. There ain't nothing illegal about it. But when Miami has been caught, caught what? They have been caught what? Been they haven't been. Players. They know they, they got caught. Never should Jerome Brown. No, hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, Uncle Luke didn't get caught doing nothing. They still ain't proved nothing about that. Nothing. No, they had that they ain't proved nothing about that. Nothing. You know, you know the only thing, bro. No, they didn't get they, they didn't prove nothing. You know the only thing they proved. Is that um Jerome Brown was driving that Corvette? I wasn't even talking about the, the, the luxury car thing. That one they never proved. No, they proved Jerome Brown was driving it. Every booster yeah, in the country. Every booster in the country. You do you know right now what just with me being a booster, right? With me being considered a booster, because I'm a season ticket holder and I donate. So I'm considered a booster. Do you know I can't even buy one of those kids McDonald's? Do you also do you also know that the NCAA you can get bagels but they can't get cream cheese? Part NCAA rules. Seriously. So this is why I'm like, are you what man? Are you what are we talking? I don't give a shit about you know why I don't give a shit about the NCAA. Because we got a guy by the name of Julio Frank who's who, who don't give a shit about the NCAA. Hey, let me take this next call, man. I got a call coming from Missouri. Let me take him. I appreciate you, Slim. Oh, yeah, you're going to cut me off that quick, huh? 
I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you back for the show. How about that? I'm gonna call you back for the show. All right. I'm gonna call Slim back for the show before Slim jump on me. Yo, who we got? Hey, what's going on? What's, hey, good? what's going on? This what's the good? Mascot out, out of St. Louis. What's good? Oh, you from the lunatic? Uh, you already know. Boy, I've been in St. Louis. Hey, I, you you hear a lot of bad rap about St. Louis, like. You know what I'm saying? Is it, it, it which it is like dangerous, but boy, when I went down there with my cousin, nothing but love, man. They they showed the out of town oh, yeah. boy, nothing but love, man. I'm up in the um, up in the um, the the, the um, gentlemen's club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, boy, yeah. I, I I I I really enjoyed myself in St. Louis, man. Really did, man. Right? Yeah, actually, the gentlemen's club you're talking about is actually right around the corner from uh. Jeff Thomas, where he from? Like literally, right around there. Yeah, I man. And that you, you t- I ain't pay for yeah, nothing. So the, them boys looked out for me. Say, I ain't pay for nothing. I ain't pay for nothing. The boys looked out for me. I went down with my cousin. <laughs> I went out to see my cousin because he had just moved there, and he was right. he moved he, he moved he was doing some construction work. He lived in a bad neighborhood, so I come through the neighborhood uh-huh. and some dudes look at me like, "Yo, who you, man?" And I was like, "Yo, I'm going, to see, I'm going to see my cousin." So you said, "You like you from around?" I said, "I'm not." All right, so right. we sitting out there, you know what I'm saying? I went and bought a couple beers. We sat out there and we talked, and man, the boys was nothing but love, man. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. I got one question for you, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and maybe, because my thing, like, when I look at Mark Rick when, at his conferences, my question, and maybe I, I might have missed something, but why don't the, why don't the, the media, all, out of all the questions they ask him, why don't they ask him? about his play calling or having an offensive coordinator or anything. Because they won't allow, because Mark Rick won't allow them to. See, good thing is I got my press pass, so I'll be in the press conferences next year, so he'll he'll ban me from the press conference, the first conference. Uh, so that, so that's <laughs> What's up, right? Raymond? Yeah, that he won't allow him to. Not just that, like I say, right. like I say, see, see, what people don't understand is uh, K's all access is 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 owned by the University of Miami, right? Um, right. that's why I call them Kane's all ass kiss. Because <laughs> if you look at Don Bailey them and you look at the way, no matter what, yeah, Kane's all access is not a true media. They're, they're not true. They're 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 gotcha. I have zero respect for not just that. I'm gonna get back on this again. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get back on this again because I am a man of color. They have no right. You have a school that you have. You have a football team that has a whole bunch of black kids. You have not one black media person on Canes or Access that's in the public eye or Hispanic or, or Cuban or no, nothing. And I don't. That's another thing I don't understand about Canes or Access. But that's a different story. I don't want people to think I'm whining and bitching like they said I was yesterday. But I, I just don't understand that. But no, they're they're all afraid of Rick for some reason. Rick King. Oh, they they're afraid of Pastor Rick. Rick. Really. Yeah, they're, they're, what is, because he's a, he, he is not the same. I've watched some of the guys that's not with Kane's All Access that's that that, uh-huh. that has that have asked him questions after um after like practices and stuff, and they've tried to ask him uh-huh. tough questions. And he has snapped on them. And Stacy Sears the same way. They went they asked Stacey Sears some questions about the offensive line. He snapped on them. Uh-huh. He snapped really? on them. I mean, really snapped on them. So yeah, that's for that fact, man. I mean, that's great. But that's like literally every like for like real talk, like for the past especially the past two years, you know, with with, with this play call and this app, I'm like I'm looking at the at the uh at the press conference like, okay, what are they gonna ask them about the uh the, you know, the die die play action dies call. They're you know not, what I mean? And not having a true offensive coordinator, and they, but that that explains that explains why. And he picks and chooses. Do you notice? Did you watch the press conference yesterday? Yeah, I watched it. All right. Because I, I, I was I, I, I was like when I was looking before I started before I hit play, I was like out of all the days, I'm pretty sure that somebody is going to ask him about it because you know, like you said a couple of days ago, like. What you heard about the, you know, them looking into a, a real offensive coordinator and all that. Uh-huh. So I, I, I thought that somebody was going to bring it up, but it was a, it was a Mark Rick, uh, the uh question and answer session, pretty much. I, 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 
got another one for you. There was five straight questions asked by one person. Mm. I keep forgetting that lady's name, but she does it all the time. She asks. She's the only one that's really allowed to ask questions. Oh wow! Go back and look at it. Go back yeah, and look. Was, go, go back and look at it. She asked like five straight questions. I've never seen that before. Yeah, but she does it. it she does it at Susan. That's her name, Susan. And she is. Oh my God! She is annoying. Oh, she's annoying. Oh, she is so. Oh my gosh, she is. She. I mean, she asked what's the name of question. Oh, your your son looks so adorable. I'm like, are you seriously? This is what we're talking about. That's crazy. But that's what she does, man. That's how they. That's what they allow us to do. I'm gonna take one more call, and then I'm gonna call back Slim Shady so I don't get jumped on, or I don't want him to write no lyrics about me tonight. But I'm getting off. <laughs> hey, I tell y'all, I'm. y'all I'm telling you, man, for real. I went to work at four o'clock this morning, and I, I know y'all seen what time I posted the video in my car on my way home. Right. I, right. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not bragging, but I am. I do this, man, for real. I'm tired as hell hey. too. I'm working hey, four hey, to five thirty, hey, hey, man. Hey, huh? Hey, I appreciate it. See you too, bro. Good looking out. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. I got you. All right. What's killing? What's killing you, man? What, what's killing you? What's killing you? Let me know what's killing you. I want to know what's killing you right now, man. Cause um, you said this is is killing you. I'm gonna put my cash app in one more time. See if I can get. See if I can get. See if I can get a a a, a couple of more dollar donations. Give me one second, big homie. I'm gonna put my cash app in real quick, like, and see if I can get me a, see if I can get a couple more, see if I can get a couple more um donations to the channel, and then I'll take your call. And yes, I'm, and I am asking for donations to build the channel up. Yep. I am so people can get mad at me all they want to after my rent yesterday. I don't give a crap. I'm gonna be nicer though. I got that off my chest. If you like the content, you gotta support the content. Well, I mean, it's like I say, um, people don't realize, um, like I say, this stuff I'm I'm doing I I'm gonna do that seven on seven camps with um football with, with seven eight six and hopefully mm -hmm. footballville regardless this year or next year. Okay, so that's my boy. Me and Footballville argue every time we talk. We argue every time we every time we talk. We argue, but that's I love him. That's my brother. That's what's up. What, what you what you got going on, my brother? Hey man, look at here. I'm 42, right? I'm 42. I'm 42. Okay, so basically, I've seen every national championship. When your birthday? So you know a lot of when your my bad. When your birthday? Huh? When's your birthday? Two eleven seventy six, man. February. 112 76. I got you by 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 a month, basically. By a month. That's what's up. 76 for the last year of the pimp. Yep, last year the pimp. Okay. <laughs> but a lot of these a lot of these change fans, man, these are what I call two thousand change fans. You know, they they only been a Kane fan since uh since uh, Ken Dorsey played. You know what I mean? They don't they don't really know Miami football and they don't really know Miami standard, you know, and Marty, he is what he is, dude. He was the same dude in Georgia, and he's the same dude now. Yeah. You paying four million dollars to an eight nine win coach. That's hey, it. And can I say something? I, I appreciate everybody in the chat telling me to stay true to me. I've had so I'm telling you, I didn't have a lot, but it seems like it seems like after I did my show yesterday, during my show, I didn't have nobody calling in like. Like um, oh, what is that? Oh my goodness! Let me let me let me delete baller fifty three ninety. That's I'm, I'm I had put him in timeout before, but now he's um he's done <laughs> high from the channel. He's done. Um, but I mean, I had I had some some callers calling because of my video yesterday. 
mm. and they were, I mean, not call in, like in the comment section after, right. not during, but after calling me right. a hater and people going to leave my channel. And I'm like, bro, if you supported me, you supported me. If you don't, you don't. If you leave, leave. Bro. I am me. I am a hundred. I am the type of person that I wear my emotions on my sleeve. Right. Bro, bro, because, dog, because, dog, you were old school Kane's fan. You were old head. These dudes here just used to mediocrity. That's all they know. Everybody want to hold hands. Do. Everybody want to hold hands yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, bro, bro. where do you live at? I live in, I, I live in Tampa, but, but I'm born and raised for a lot of time. Right, my mother's buried in St. Pete, so I know the Pinellas Hills Bear okay. County. All right. Okay. Um, I'm the type of person that, like I say, if you if you if you if you doing something, don't get me wrong. This is a business as well. You have to make money in order to continue to grow. But if you but if you're doing something, I'm doing this. This is I've been doing it for five years. This is the first year I've asked for donations. I've been doing it for five years. First year I've asked for anything. I I, I do it for the heart and for the passion of it. I love my family. So if 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 if, if, if you got frustrated with me this year because I, I actually wanted to say that last year. But I try. I let it go, and I shouldn't. If I'd have said it last year, then I, it would have been a might have been a little bit more tactful. But I kept holding on to it, and um. So if if you are if you if you consider yourself my family and you and 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 and, and you threaten to unsub because I'm showing more emotion this year, then do me a favor, unsub. I don't need you, and I hate well, I, I hate to say that, but I don't need you. If, but if but you're not, again, but again. But again, those, those, that's a microcosm of the time that we live in. You yeah. can't have your own opinion. If your opinion is something a little different from everybody else, then now you they, know they you call, got a problem with it. They, call me, a, they wait, call me a hater. They call me a hater because I... Know because, what's out, did you see okay. the video yesterday? <laughs> but it, so that's okay. People don't understand this. what people don't understand. You know why Manny Diaz does so much more with less? Because from day one, he said we got to play to the standard. That is the University of Miami. The standard. When he first got there, he said, there are kids that don't have no business being here at the University of Miami. He challenges his boys every day to play to the standard that is Miami. Don't make excuses about it. Play to the standard to the guys that laid this groundwork before you. Offensively, we don't do that. It's a bunch of excuses. Point, point, I'm going to get to make a point. Point is, the old line coach should have been fired last year. You don't bring your damn 24, 25-year-old son on to be a quarterback's coach. Where's our Kehoe at, man? Where's our like but, oh, oh, my. But check, but check this, dog. Where's our this game, Mark, my, I, know, I know my boys in my little group, in my little thing that I'm on, they gave our, our Kehoe, man, the hardest time in the world. And I'm like, you know what? Kehoe may not be the best, but... It so seems Kiho, to me no. that his boys always go Kiho, to the next level. Kiho is the play. best. Kiho is the best. Then that's what I couldn't understand. Like he Kiho has five now. He, he's the only coach that has five all five national championships, I think, with Miami. But bro, but, but bro, look at this boys. The boys that he coached, regardless of they all go to the next level in their play. Whether they're big name guys or not. Eric Flowers. That's the only oh, old yeah. coach that I would bring back. We yeah, talking yeah. about old coaches. I would bring back, or when they talk about like like back in the day, coaches. He's the guy that I would bring back today. I don't know who I'm bringing back, bro. I got to bring back what's the running backs coach. Uh, come on, man, with the towel. Oh yeah, I'm, I understand uh, that, but I'm saying like 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 R. Keo is like synonymous. If yeah, you know, if, you know if, if me and him were friends, and he was to die, I would put his name on my arm. Dead serious. Hey man, Art, Art, Art to me, he just like he just like Randy Shannon. I don't care what folks say about Randy. Randy got a raw deal. But you know yeah. he's a king. You know Randy had no control. It took control away from Randy on that team. Man, Randy, man, look at here. Randy didn't even have a budget, bro. People, people who really know Miami football know Randy didn't even have a budget to do anything with. Randy was a Randy was up front, but man, they didn't get that brother nothing to do nothing with. He didn't have the budget. He didn't have the facilities. They weren't trying to get him with no budget. They weren't trying to put nothing new in there. Might have fun as soon as Al Golden got there, he got a bigger budget, and they start trying to make things happen. But then again, I ain't going to go into it because that's my personal beat with the University of Miami, you know. When it's but you know, going. you know why they gave Al a bigger budget, though, right? It wasn't because they, yeah. it wasn't because they wanted to. It. And I'm gonna tell you, it had nothing to do with race. I'm gonna tell you why they gave him. No. I'm gonna tell you why they gave him bigger, bigger budget. Mm -hmm. 
because they lied to him when they brought him in, when and, they brought they, him in. and they didn't tell right. him about and they didn't tell him about the NCAA investigations, and they had right. and they had to keep him. Right, right, because because if he got away, there was nobody else coming in. There yeah. no, you know, nobody worth any anything. I say, and Al wasn't a bad coach. Al just couldn't let his he couldn't let his brother go. You know what I mean? He I keep saying that. I'm gonna ask you the same question. I'm gonna ask you the same question yes. that I've asked a few times. Right now, right now, today, if you had the opportunity to take Al Golden and Manny Diaz or Mark Rick and Mark D'Onofrio, what tandem would you take? Come on, man. Come on, man. Al Golden and Manny Diaz, it ain't even close. Nah, I'm just it saying. Ain't, it, ain't, it, it ain't even in the same ballpark. The thing of it is, D'Onofrio couldn't coach his way out of the damn sandwich bag. And the thing is, Mark, and Mark, and Mark, Mark Rick, and Mark Rick didn't have Manny Diaz right now. Bro, that dude would either be a 500 or below 500 coach. He'd be 500 or below. He would be 500 or below, and those are facts. You can you can get mad and want to be a part. You know they can get mad and want to and want to be. I'm like you know, Mark Rick is a nice guy. I would love for him to be my AD, but I don't want him to be my. AD. I don't want him to be my AD. Because all these gonna be my AD. I don't want you know, know why, why I want I, I keep Blake James. You know why I don't want Mark Rick being my AD? Why, why is that? Because he's too damn stubborn and he'll be doing things the way he wanna do it as AD. He'll probably hire his son as the head coach. Yeah, and you're probably right about it. I never gave that any thought, but I know one thing about it. He gonna he gonna smile and put that southern boy charm on and he gonna God bless him and just mm-hmm. writing them checks. Hey so, DC you know I mean? DC J R nine. If you tie the old head for the DCJR, take the junior out, and then we won't we won't we we, 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 we won't be telling you what you don't know. <laughs> take that junior out. Take, just say the G, they say DEC nine. Take the JR out. And to be honest with you, DC though, I'm giving you I'm giving the young cats props because I said we need to grow. I said we need to grow with y'all, not vice versa. I said y'all the future, not vice versa. What we are saying as fans is you haven't seen us win. So you don't under if you're okay with mediocrity, if you're okay with mediocrity, that's because you haven't seen us win. You haven't seen us win. Doing the home, doing homework, doing homework and seeing it. Bro, I, I I watched I watched um Jim Brown run the football, but I didn't see it. That's the but, difference. But 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 see so. But see, though, these cats don't understand, bro. It's unacceptable as a U.S. man to lose to Virginia. It's unacceptable to lose to North Carolina. It's unacceptable to even be going to uh, hell, you know, hell, Mary, your last kickoff against Duke. No, it's, it's you know, you, 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 you know, you, you know, it's, you know, you know, it's even, you know, it's even more unacceptable that people keep missing my point on that I talk about every, every, every episode, every okay. episode. The worst play, the worst play in Miami Hurricane football history right now. Besides the Ohio State play, the worst play, oh the worst play in my book was last year on the goal line when he pulled those kids out and kicked the field goal so he wouldn't get shut out against. Oh, yeah, that was the most yeah. Mitch move I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. let, me, let, let me get off this call. I got I got a call. Let's come say he came back. I, I, I'm not... I, 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 I'll let you, bro. Appreciate it, my brother. Yes, sir. Keep it light. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Hey, Slim Shane, I'm about to call you right back, man. All right. I'm calling you back, and we're not staying on long. Because it's 820, so I was supposed to do an hour. So I'm giving you the last eight minutes. Now I don't want to hear. I don't want you better not sit here and talk trash about me or nothing. I ain't going to hang up on you. I'm just going to hang up on the chat. The man call you back. Hold on, sir. <laughs> ah, I told you I was gonna call you back. All right, hold on. Let me let, let me let me touch on since you want to jump on me, Logan, Dak. Who I jumped jump on? on? I ain't jump on nobody. No. Jumping on the younger guys. I did not jump on the young guys. I gave y'all respect. What are you talking about? I didn't jump on y'all. See now, see now you was. I did not jump on no young guys. 
I did not say that. That was a that, that was a caller. That was a caller. That wasn't me. See, you're not listening to me. That was the caller. I, I did not agree with him. But it don't matter if I did. I didn't say that. See, 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 see. That that's my point. That's my point right there. That's where you. That's where you're gonna get me pissed off at. Don't sit here and say that I said something that I didn't say. Bro, all I did. The only thing I've been doing is saying that. Young people need to listen to, I mean, old people need to listen to young people. It is your time. I said that when you were on. But what, but what's being said is that a lot of the younger generation don't understand the, 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 the culture of what Miami was and what we're trying to get back to. Some do. But for right now, for some reason, if we would have had internet back in the days, Mark Rick would have been fired last year. So I, ne I never, Mark bro, I, been Georgia 15 years. I'm just, exact, I mean, he wouldn't have been at Miami 15 years. I'm saying, I'm not taking no more phone calls tonight, Philip. I'm sorry. This is the last call. I I'll be back on probably Friday. Um, I do my pregame show Friday. I always do my pregame show Friday and my postgame show, my halftime show. So, um, but no, that's not what I said, man. Why, why y'all not listening to me? I did not, bro. I'm the one saying that we have to let these young kids be kids. We learn it from y'all now. Y'all the future. I'm giving all the young guys the props. You coming on here killing me? Talking, oh man, y'all man. I ain't killing you. Talking about, killing talking about what I said. Anyway, to, to the point <laughs> of what I want to talk about. Anyway, well, I gotta get on you again, like I did the other night. That's what some of these people need to realize. What you said earlier, me and you guys in one, we don't call it an argument because it, 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 it was heated. From a debate. It was heated. But, but you know what? People need to realize if you're not my friend, right? Okay, if you're not, we can't be, we, we can't, we can't be the same. We, the, the way this world changes. It's by people having different opinions about stuff and actually, what's that word called? Bipartisanship? Actually yeah, understand each other. You realize you can disagree and this world's going to keep on spinning. Yeah, but you disagreed and try to come up with a solution. Try to come up with a resolution to exactly. what's going on, Universal? Anyway. Anyway. I, now, this is something you said. You, you've been praising on, on that James Coley offense when Al Gold was there. It's better than what we got now. A lot of people... It's better than what we got now. But how are you going to want an offense that went 6-6? Six and six? Because the defense was trash. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying. You say, I praise the offense that that, the def that, that, that went 6-6. Six and six. If you gave Mark Rick, Mark Denarfield right now, we'll be 0-12. Right now, yeah. Right now, that's, my, no that, that's my point. I didn't say. I said, "Would but, you?" I said, but, "I would take Al Golden and Manny Diaz." If you take, if you take Mark, Rick, we got the same teams, exact same teams, right? We have the exact same teams lined up, the exact same team, and you got Mark Rick and Al Golden. I mean, Mark Rick and, and Martin Arvio, and I got Al Golden and Manny Diaz. I'm kicking your ass 10 times out of 10. Against those teams, yeah. But the problem with James Coley's offense is quick strike offense, period. That's not what I'm that saying. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you, but they the score. It's going to get just as wore out as the offense we got now. Not really. They're scoring too fast. Not really. Not really. They won't get wore out just as fast because we have depth. We have depth. And we have more depth than they had back then. So we wouldn't get wore out just as fast. And at least the other team got the – even if we wore out right, they might start wearing out in the third quarter, but we don't put 45, 50 points on the board, and we still don't shut them down to maybe 10 points. So now they got to come back. We don't put 45, 60 points on the board because James Coley's offense didn't do it. No, I'm with the, with the offense that Mark Rick got now, it would. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like I said, you can't all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, this is all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, Mark Rick is trash as a play caller. That's all I'm saying. He has too much talent to be using excuses that he's using. At this point in his career, he is because he won't update his playbook. 
He said he's calling the he same place 18 years ago. Exactly. He won't update his playbook. And I've told you before, that man can call plays. He's got two national championships as a player. Bro, he could call plays. Just like when I was in high school, I could run a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> yeah, I just said he ain't updated his playbook. So he can't call plays. Problem. So he can't call plays. I ain't never disagreed with you that. That he can't update his playbook he because he can't, he, can't, he can't update his plays because he doesn't have that type of he doesn't have that type of mentality that type he doesn't that Jimmy Johnson lost when we were blowing I forgot the team we were blowing out and he let foot off the gas and we ended up losing that game and he said I'll never do that again and then he started blowing everybody out Miami was that first team to start scoring 100 points on people because Jimmy Johnson said it'll never happen to him again. That's something that Mark Rick won't do. He do, he doesn't have the heart to be a hurricane co- coach. He doesn't have the heart. I don't care if they throw up eighty points a game. I really don't. He doesn't have the heart to be. Did you watch the press conference yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Do you watch him on the sideline? Sure do. He doesn't have the he acts, heart. He acts just like he acts just like. Man, he worked on the just like Bobby Bowden. So he doesn't he but he doesn't have the heart. He just doesn't have the heart to be a hurricane coach. Now, I'm not dis- I'm not disagreeing with you that he doesn't need to call plays. I he agree he, he doesn't have the heart. heart. He doesn't have the heart to have to be a hurricane coach, man. I'm not taking no more phone calls. Sorry. I'm not taking any more phone calls tonight. I'm dead serious. I'm not taking any more because I got to go to sleep. And it's 8 30. I'm serious. I'm not I'm not I can't take no more phone calls. I gotta go to bed. But people have started this. They want to fire him after this Virginia loss. Yes, this Virginia loss is bad, no doubt. They want to fire him because there's no improvement. Because there's no improvement in three years. There's been no improvement. But here, here, here's my thing. With better talent. You think anybody, you think anybody at Ohio State right now is calling to fire Urban Meyer after that blowout to a horrible Purdue team? Urban Meyer won a national championship at Ohio State. Apples and oranges. He won out a national championship at Ohio State. That was an oranges. There's been no bad loss, bad loss. No, it's not. You see, that's why that's why I don't like arguing with you. I, he won a national champ. If if, if if Rick had won a national championship at Miami, wouldn't nobody be saying that about him right now. Okay? He's not improving. That's the problem. That's the problem. He's not improving, now, now, Slim. Now, He's not improving. Now, now, We're getting worse. Here, We're worse on offense. We're not improving. Right. They, look, they look worse right now. We're not improving. Here's something, here's something With better talent. I picked, up, I picked up from your boy Mark Rogers. Okay. The plays he calls, the plays he calls are plays that you call for a quarterback you don't trust. I don't give, I I no don't give a shit. Trust, I don't give a shit if you don't trust him. He's had three years. If you don't trust him, then you don't trust your son. I don't care about excuses. I only care about solutions. I don't care about any of his excuses. I don't give a shit about Mark Rick excuses. I don't care. It's three years and we are we are declining. We've lost five recruits in two days. I think seven. We lost five from the 2020 class. We lost a four star and a five star the other day. He's the he's the you realize how many I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about now. Like that's just too short. Time. I don't care. It's not too short. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. This, I'm not. I'm not gonna get my blood pressure up with you tonight, Slim. I'm not. We're declining. We're not improving. We're in year three with more talent. We're barely beating media. We haven't beaten one good team. We haven't beaten one good team since since we beat Virginia Tech last year. One, we haven't beaten one good team. Not one. How many good teams we're, have we played? Is that, so, so, we're, and so, so what you're telling me is we are, we're losing to bad teams and we're losing to good teams. We beat Savannah State, FIU, uh, 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 who else? Um, Florida State. With a new coach that's not a good team. Well, if you want them to beat better teams, call Blake James and tell, tell him to schedule better teams. We can't beat. We lost to Virginia. We lost to Virginia. We, in four years. In four years. 
The first time in four years? And what about 2000 when they lost to a bad Bro, I don't care about that. You see, you keep re- – Slim, don't stop, stop. Please stop that. Please stop comparing. Bro, we are losing with good talent with a badass head coach, period. You can defend them all you want. You can go pull up your 2000 stats. You you can put you I don't get I don't I'm not arguing with you no more. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not arguing with you no more. I'm not. I, I'm not going to get my blood pressure up, bro. I'm not. Bro. Bro, you sitting here continuously saying comparing, bro. We can't beat bad teams right now. We can't beat bad teams right now. You have absolutely no evidence. Can't we can, I have no evidence. Bro, we lost to Virginia. That's my evidence. We lost to Virginia. My evidence. That ain't no evidence. That's not. Slim, I'll talk to you later, man. Love you, brother. I'll talk to you later. All right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not going, I'm not going to keep Oh, That's my brother. I love him to death. But, bro, I'm not taking any. I'm, you know what? Freak, I take, I, I'm going to take this call and the call that call before me. Anybody else call, please don't call back. Serious. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Bro. What's up, bro? Hey, I know you heard me say I want to take it on my phone call. Oh, I heard you, but I had to because that man said there's no evidence. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Virginia's no evidence? No. No. Come on, man. No. This yeah. whole show has been nothing but excuses, man. We, nothing but excuses. We lost, we, lost, we lost a pit last year. I'm telling you, man, I called it last year. We are not as good as we were last year by our record. And it says it on the close games that we had with Georgia Tech, Florida State, Syracuse. All, that all speaks, man. Everyone, everyone's hyping up last year, and it's not. It's in, and that's reflecting off of this year. Clemson lost to Pitt and won a national championship. And they lost to whatever. Okay, all right, all right. Exactly. All right. Al Al Golden and Mark Rick are the same coach. How about that? Neither one of them got championships. How about that? I've been saying this all night. If Al Golden didn't have sanctions and he had full scholarships and he and, and he had many ideas, guess what? We'll we're be, in the ship. We'll be we're, we're in the we're, ship. We're a better Period. team than we are now. I can promise Period. you that. People don't remember Jimmy Graham, DJ Epps, our, our tight ends that we had, man. our wide receivers, Philip Dorsett. Listen, man. Greg Cooper, Greg yeah. Cooper, Duke Johnson. Come on now. Come on. I'm not arguing with saying he's talking about BS sanctions. Sanctions didn't matter. So if you're saying BS sanction, why we suck now? Why we suck now? I'm not arguing with Slim. Exactly. I'm, I'm not arguing with Slim. I'm gonna let Slim argue with the comment comment section. That's the thing is, is if we have no sanctions and nothing going on, and we got this great defensive coordinator, then why is our record the same as it was with our Golden? Because because we have a coach that 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 that, that, that that's incompetent. He's stubborn. I watch his press conference too, man, and he has the nerve to sit there and say, "Oh well, we didn't execute our offense." Bullshit! You can't execute the four same plays every down. The defense is gonna know. And how old are you? Oh, I'm the young buck that doesn't know nothing. How old are you, Logan? <laughs> how old are you, Logan? I'm, I'm 24. Okay. And I'm not disagreeing with you, right? All right. No, you're not. All right. I want to talk to the homeboy you were talking to earlier, though, because he was dogging on the young bucks. <laughs> no, he wasn't dogging on the young. He was saying he was saying that. Ninety percent of the young people don't understand what the what the what the um standards. Are. At the yours are. Well, I'm proudly that 10 percent that does because, because I'm just being. I got to high school to watch Miami games in the but, 80s and 90s. But he's being honest though. He's being honest though. Most young, most, just, just like most old people, can barely operate a a, 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 a smartphone. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got to focus on too. Half the young bucks on here, they're saying that Ken Dorsey needs to be off as a coordinator when he has no experience to do so. Exactly. That's delusional. It's delusional. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean. Yeah, we lost man. we lost fifty eight to nothing with Al Golden, right? And we basically lost thirty eight to nothing with Mark Rick in the ACC championship game. But he kicked the field goal because he was too much of a punk to go for the touchdown. With a better team, with with a better team, we lost thirty eight to nothing. With a great defense, we lost thirty eight to nothing. How about that? 
even then, even then, there's been games where we've and, already had the game, and we sit there and take a and, knee with like two minutes left. And, and a, the goal line. in the ACC championship game last year, we got our asses handed to us, and we were supposed to be better. How about that? How about that? Huh? It shows too. It shows too because our defense can only do so much. If you think back to the LSU game. Our defense can only do so much that game, and it's because of the position Mark Rick and his offensive play calling put our defense in. Bro, we were number one. We're number one. We were number one in turnovers last year, dead last in points off of turnovers. We had games we had five turnovers and scored 21 points. Huh? We're number one rated defense in in in, in college football this year and a number 70-something rated offense. Huh? Exactly. Right? With a better You're number one in with, defense, with better with, win a game against Florida State with better recruits and everything. Every game we won last year was because of the defense, including the Florida State game. They finally put a drive together at the end of the game. We lost I to Pitt. We lost to Pitt, and we and we only put we only, Pitt only scored what 19, 20, 20 points, 21 points. We lost a bunch Florida of games. We, we lost a bunch Florida of games. We we lost a bunch of games last year, and our offense couldn't score no damn points. Quarterbacks are not the problem. So quarterbacks are not the problem, bro. People can get Rozier mad at me. I don't even want to talk about Rozier. I'm talking about play calling. Rick is, is the, the biggest problem. Rick is right the problem. That, right, right below play calling. Listen, 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 because I really want to get this off my chest. You got from top to bottom play calling, offensive line, special teams. Yeah, All right, and I'm going. I'm going play calling and special teams. I'm not putting offensive line until we get better play calling. I can't judge the offensive line off bad play calling. That's, that is true. That is true. I can't judge the offensive line off bad play calling. I can't do it. Serious. Because I, I can get. I can guarantee. I can guarantee you offensive line. I can guarantee you. I ain't worried about them though. I'm caring about how he the head coach. He calling the plays again for our, our, our special teams coach ain't getting four million dollars a year. All right, that's an easy replacement. Well, well, wait. So regardless, that's not an excuse for how bad our special teams. I'm not. This. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing well, you, with you. You already know we're on the same page I'm on not, everything on offense. I'm not, special teams is I'm, no I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you, but they, they're off the hook for right now because our offense is so trash. We need the special teams to bail out our offense. That's the problem. Let, hey, Logan, let me go. I'm going to take that one call before you, and I got to go lay down, man. I'm tired, man. I was supposed to hang up. I was supposed to hang up at 8 o'clock. All right, all right my brother. Thanks, man. I'm going to take that one call that was before Logan. That, that, that call before Logan. Um... I can't. Yo, yeah, the four hundred seven number. Let me take this call, man. That that way, and that's it. Anybody else call in? Don't be mad at me. What's, up, though, man? What's good, man? Man, it's over lock of seventy four, man. Hey, this call gonna cost Bro, you thirty six dollars, man, because I'm over time. I'm, I'm on, over, I'm on just, over time. Hey, I now. just called. Up. Hey, I just clocked out of work, man. You know what I'm saying? And I seen that you was on live, so I hit you up. I didn't get to catch what you said, man. I, I got beat up. Yeah, I got beat up real Robert. bad yesterday, man. I mean, I got destroyed. I got oh, destroyed. Man. I got destroyed this morning in the comment section because people didn't like what I said hey, yesterday. Man, I, hey, hey, I worked two jobs, man. So I just got off just now. So I hey. had to hit you up, man. You nah, know, we man. talk. We talk. I appreciate we, you taking my call. We talking about. I appreciate we, you taking my call, you, man. You, you good, man? We talking about how how um how Mark Rick is trash. Basically, man, we, we we know that, man. You know what I'm saying? I was totally against hiring that man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Because 15 years at Georgia, man, your resume don't even hold water, man. The, man. the only positive thing about him, only positive thing about him when he was coming in was he was an alumni. You know what I'm saying? That was it. He was at the University of Miami, which don't mean really jacked to me. We should have, like, we should have, we should have. Why we didn't sign Crystal Ball? Now, why we didn't hire Crystal Ball? He was an alumni. That's, that's who I, yo, that's who I wanted. I wanted Crystal Ball. I wanted Crystal Ball. I want, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I wanted Chris, I wanted Crystal Ball and Leach. I bet y'all offensive line wouldn't look bad. I bet you, I bet y'all offensive line wouldn't look bad if we had Crystal Ball. Oh, no, no. No, you're talking about, oh, look, you will never, 
you will never get an apology from me about our off about our offense getting better if they have been trash. I'm talking about right now. So right now, you owe me an apology, Slim Shady Kane. You will not get an apology from me for it for a man who's supposed <laughs> for a man doing that's a that, that that does his job because right now we are worse. Right now we are worse, and if we wasn't worse, I'm not the only one talking about us being worse. So how about you apologize to me for uh for for you putting me through all this drama about a coach that's trash? And if he get better next year, he ought to get better. Shit, he been coaching for 19 years. It's about most people about to retire by the time he get good. <laughs> now. Now, most people about to retire by the time he get good. I don't make no damn sense, man, coaching 20 years. And I don't care how many years Bobby Bowden coach. I don't care nothing about that. Florida State ain't on our level. Nah, they ain't. You know what I'm saying? Just like Virginia wasn't on our goddamn level. That John made me so doggone mad, man. All that, all that game did remind me of Pittsburgh last year, man. Who's the Game four plays. What, yo, what, what is it with him uh, having a uh, pair up under center? What, what, why you got to keep pairing the shotgun all the time? We don't run no kind of offensive schemes, no motions, no nothing. It's the same setup over and over. Hey, Logan, y'all get – I'm going to Logan calling somebody out. Logan calling somebody out and gave him his number. I'm showing that. That's, what, that's how we do it over here. That's how we do it on this channel here, man. We, 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 we get it in and still love each other, and we get it in. <laughs> That's how we do oh, it. Man, I just don't get it, man. And I, I need just to, don't get it. I'm about, to, hold on, I'm about to see if I got any more donations. I'm about to see if I got any more donations. I'm about to see if I got another dollar. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got three more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, everybody. I had to go watch um, I had to go watch uh, your old show. I think it was Sunday when you made that announcement, so I had to go back and watch it. Since I got off work, you know, the breaking news, and I'm like, "Who is your top three offensive coordinator?" I don't have to see come to my end? I don't have a top three. What I'm hearing is the guy, the the the, the quarter, the the, the 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 black guy from TCU. I hear they're looking at him already. Okay, and Kendall Browse. And I don't, I don't know the okay, other guy. Okay, now Kendall Brown, that's one, that's that's one that I want, that I would like to get Kendall Brown. And um, believe it or not, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Now, if we can't get none of them, you know who? I'll bring back uh, James Coley. I'll bring Coley. I'll bring, I'll bring back. back that, I'll bring back Fitz. I'll bring, yeah, I'll bring back Jeff Fitz. Yeah, I'm but no, but no, but to be honest, to be honest with you, though, man, if we can't get either one of those guys, there's somebody out there. We don't have to go back there. We don't have to go back. I'm just saying, though. I'm just, I'm just saying, though. If your father's bringing back old coaches, old coaches, back to the U, there's only two coaches I'll bring back. Um, your boy, they got five national titles. Uh, oh, Art. Man, what's his name? Art. Uh, Mr. Kehoe. Yeah, Art. I was, yeah. I'll bring my kid today. You know what I'm saying? Because, let me tell you something. If you, ain't, if you ain't old school, you don't know nothing about it. I'll like, bring, you know, I, like, I like more. I did like Mark Whipple. I like Mark Whipple. I have no problem with Yeah, Mark I would, I would, I would, that was the see, he, he's one of the coaches that I would bring back, him and James. I, because I, that one year James Coley had it. That one, that one year James Coley had, you know what I'm saying, man, look at the offense was moving. Brad was throwing up. Do y'all know, do, yards do, you, do you, do you not know that was his first year calling plays? Yeah, that's what I said, that one year. I'm saying, but that was his first year that's ever, that was his first year ever calling plays. He never called he plays came before. From Florida State. Came from Florida. That was he came game. from the Seminoles. He called better plays than he Mark. He came from the Seminoles. He called better plays than Mark Rick. Now that's his first year ever calling plays. His first year ever. He never called plays and before. Brad Kai, and remember up under him. Remember up under him. Kyle was you know was looking at the Heisman as the Heisman Trophy dude. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He was in that talk. I'm under him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Now and then Mark Rick coming there with that nonsense. And guess what? When that Kyle went from a first round pick. You know what I'm saying? Which he left early with Hill. You know what he got drafted fourth round or something like that. Mm -hmm. no, he, he went, went from he... a first round pick, a Heisman candidate, 
And Mark Rick came in and screwed everything up. That's what Mark Rick did. That ain't man. bad off of the, Yeah, that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? And then people sitting up here talking about, oh, well, you know, we this, we that. No, no, we ain't that doggone good with that nonsense. We are so deep. Now, last year, the excuse was that we wasn't deep enough. This year, we so deep on every position. Listen, the, the, only, the only people who listen to that garbage is people who, who defend Rick. I ain't yeah, listened to it from I'm, day I'm, one. I'm, he a mediocre, man, he a mediocre I'm, coach at best. Yes, he is, bro. Yes, I, he is. I got you to go. Man, you coach, you coach. All right, man. I, I you know got to go. Man. Appreciate taking my call, man. Yeah, I got to go. I'm, 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 get you some rest, yeah, I got to go. And I got to be up at I got to be up at three thirty in the morning. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right my brother. All I appreciate right. it. Y'all see, I took that call, man. I didn't want to take that call with that brother calling in, man. So I had to take that call. Um. I'm out, man. You guys continue the discussion. I'll be back probably. I'll be back Friday before the game. And I doubt if I do a post post game because I got to work Saturday morning. So if I don't do a post game Friday after the game, I do a post game Saturday. All right. So um, I appreciate all of my loyal family members, man. All of the guys who stuck beside me whether it's good or bad, whether I'm ranting or not. And to the ones who don't like me because I've been ranting this year, I don't hate you. I ain't got nothing but love for you. But if you don't like me, go somewhere else. I'll be okay. People don't like me every day. What's that shit? People get shot every day, B. You be all right. You tough, right? Camera on voice. How about that? Love you guys, man. Out.